Good evening, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. This is Shaco Sessions Live. It's a weekly live video streaming concert series promoting Richmond's vibrant music scene and rejuvenating your soul with live music from the comfort of your own home. Oh, hello and good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday, happy 420, if uh, for those of you who celebrate. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Shaco Sessions Live. I am Reese Williams, and we are in the easy, like, Tuesday evening Studio A at In Your Ear Studios. And tonight we are in for a steely treat, I must say. We definitely want to thank our Grace Point music lovers for making tonight's show possible. Uh, we want to thank Star Coast from last week, again, for supporting their local peers and artists. Um, I'm looking for a running tally on what the auction made last week in the COVID relief fund with uh, partnering with Culture Works. So hopefully I'll have an update for you for that. But tonight, Villages is what happens when a lifelong piano player, and I heard the investment was around 100K, I think, I think was a rough estimate. It's when a piano player has a midlife musical crisis, teaches himself guitar, writes 70 plus songs in a little over a year, and then gets his super talented friends to make them sound cool. Ladies and gentlemen, they may not be the one or the only, but they're our favorites and we think that they are the most talented. It is Villages. <laughs> i 
inside a book don't pretend This is anything but the end Face the fact we all got one Never came back You gotta face the fact we all got one Never came back You gotta face the fact we all got one Never came back <laughs> Say your house is on fire Will your situation's dire Will you hanging on a wire And them flames are getting high Oh girl, you all preach to the choir You say your love is all spent Ain't no idea where it went now they come for your rent You can't blame the government Or the preacher or the president Well, I'm sinking and falling Drinking and crawling Ain't time to be saved Well, I'm bleeding and starting Cutting and carving A worse on my grave I'm a razor blade Say your sun's burning dry Like a desert in the sky You're so desperate to get high There ain't nothing you won't try I would know Cause I used to know a guy Well I'll sink in a fall Drink and crawl Ain't time to be saved Well I'm bleeding starving Carving the words on my grave I'm a razor blade So your stars will lie Ain't no time for you to undermine So your stars will lie Ain't no time for you to undermine But the way that you shoot up out that fray, you got ricochet. You say your house is on fire. Well, your situation's dire. Well, you're hanging on that wire, and them flames are getting higher. Oh, girl, you up. Will I be able to sink and fall, drink and crawl, ain't time to be saved. I've been bleeding, starving, cooking, carving over so my grave. Will I be able to sink and fall, drink and crawl, ain't time to be saved. I've been bleeding and starving, cooking and carving the words on my grave. I'm a razor blade. I love those. I love the ones that sound like you're galloping and you're just <laughs> moving along. Justin, your friends are very talented. No, <laughs> no, no. So I know we talked about this a little bit on the podcast. This room sounds great, uh, but we're having technical issues getting the the episode up. It's now the lost episode. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you guys were last year before the world came to a halt. Yeah, so we were all excited to play a bunch of shows, and like everybody, this kind of blindsided us. And, uh, you know, for the past year, we've been trying to make the best of it. And, um, you know, we've been able to get out and play some gigs here and there. Um, but for the most part, we kind of had to shut things down. And so this has been really nice to have this opportunity. We're very appreciative, and it's definitely an honor and a privilege to be here. As are we. We're glad you're here as well. The, the steely sound really sets it apart. It's so beautiful. He can uh, hem some pants for you on that thing, too, if you want to later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gullible. What? He's a seamster? 
Is it a scene? Would it be? All right. Uh, we're going to do a song next uh, that we've been doing for a little bit. Uh, this is called Replica. Well, you just keep moving in the same direction and act like it, everything's fine. You just turn on the dime. And act like everything's fine I just play tricks with my mind Cause happiness is a fine line And I've been hurt in such a shattering way I can't be certain if I'm even doing okay Villages, please be sure to tell, uh, tip stuff the virtual tip jar. Uh, share the link with everybody you know, all your music loving friends. You've got some music loving friends in the room. GCP says, Sounding good, fellas. GD Groupie says, Loving this. And Leon3 says, Viva Villages. You know, I didn't think to ask you this when we did the podcast. What was that like writing 70 plus songs in a year? Well, I didn't say they were very good. There were a lot of half <laughs> 
A lot of half-written songs. This band does about 15 to 20 of them. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Dolly Parton is one who says she writes a song every day, like, or, you know, a song is sort of channeled through her. Sure. Um, Johnny Lee Long, same thing. He wakes up with a, at least a song or two a day that he kind of fleshes out. I wasn't sure if you were just like a madman in a room feverishly scribbling it out or... Sometimes. <laughs> I bet. I think you got to recycle through a lot of bad songs to eventually get to the good ones. So. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of that. Make some amalgams <laughs> and. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do a song now. This one's called Plato. This is. Uh, it's funny. I remember I was in like eleventh grade taking a philosophy class, and for a project, I had to write a song about Plato's allegory of the cave. Stupid. Was this public school? <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so, like, I had these lyrics a long time ago, and, you know, I kind of was looking them over again, and it kind of inspired me to re revamp it, and uh, this is what it turned into. So, this is called Plato. work the way a lot of bands work where you're coming up with sort of the core uh, essence of the song and then everybody writes their own part yeah I pretty much come up with like the verse and choruses and then I show it to them just on my guitar and then we all fight about it <laughs> <laughs> it's a big floor brawl <laughs> plaid and flannel everywhere yeah, that's right. <laughs> denim, denim everywhere yes. <laughs> denim all over the place you ran into a door right Steve <laughs> Yeah, I've got a lot of trust in what these guys do with it, so I just give it to them, and mm -hmm. this is what happens. I heard a phrase recently that said, you know, a good musician uh, respects the song itself, and I like that, and so I'm, I'm learning that more with, with collective bands like this, that everybody has their strengths and everybody's open to let everybody shine, which is and very this cool. this band especially, I think. I think that everyone is 
very tasteful in what they do, and no one tries to step on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. I think it works that way. Right on. All right, this, uh, dead end? Cool. This is a song off our first record. This is called uh, Dead End of a Lonely Street. can hear there are other hands clapping and some woos over here <laughs> we've got we've got papa and and girlfriend in the audience it's nice not to be alone for a change <laughs> the sound of more than one two one two hands clapping how's it you know you know what i'm talking about we usually get about four or five and shit four or five <laughs> feels, pretty, feels good we've got some more people in the room greg hendakis he says this room sounds nice <laughs> just just nice come on Sounds great. Um, and watching grass grow says, love it. Tom Sim, oh, he's going to kill me. I can't say this last name. Sim Zasky says, nice to hear steel north of Nashville. Oh, Lord. I'm the only one. <laughs> We're glad we've got gotcha. you. <laughs> this is a song we've been doing for a little bit, and uh, I don't know, we don't play it that often. Uh, but we worked it up for tonight, so this is called The Wave.
If you're just joining us, uh, this is Villages. Please show your support by tipping uh, that stuff that virtual tip jar and share the link with your friends. Call a buddy and say, hey, I'm making dinner and listening, and you've got to check it out right now. Um, just so you know, not only do we support musicians, we also support as well tangible artists. And this evening, we have Cameron Sullivan Photography. Uh, he lives and works right here in Richmond with his wonderful wife, his daughter, two dogs, a cat, a horse. And he says, any more animals in the city? 
might require a permit. <laughs> His career in the cybersecurity field keeps him uh, huddled behind a desk in front of a wall of computer screens, but he loves getting outdoors whenever he can. He's been dabbling in photography for a little over a decade, but he started really pouring his, his passion, his time, and his money, much to his wife's chagrin, into the craft about seven years ago, and now he's hooked. He's constantly looking for the next adventure. Um, other things he enjoys are craft beer, bourbon, the occasional cigar, technology, and good conversation. And I can say he makes a damn fine smoked drink. If you've never had one, whoo! You can find him everywhere at Cameron Sullivan Photography. Um, that's CameronSullivanPhotography.com. And then, of course, Instagram, Facebook. Um, but, of course, the vivid colors, uh, the detail. And, you know, this is a dude that will stand in hip waders for 10 hours until he can get the shot. It's pretty amazing. So thank you so much for letting us show your work. And please go check him out. You guys have some love as well. Uh, John Lohman says, pedal to the metal. Lexi Houlihan says, that bass player. And there seem to be some hubba hubba emojis. What's his wife going to think? <laughs> Ash <laughs> Ashley, I'll say Ashley, uh, says, and the guitar player, too. Woo -woo. And Greg finally has come back and says, did I say nice? I meant to say great. So this room does sound great for him. So glad to bring it back. <laughs> you know, speaking of smoked drinks you mentioned earlier, Stephen makes a great... Uh, Go kinda, on. It's kind of the band house cocktail, the Tony Clifton. Go on. A little mezcal, a little jalapeno infused tequila, um, blood orange. Yeah. Yeah. You've, got, you've got a picture of it somewhere around here, right? It's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a contraption that you put on top of the glass and you fire up the chips with a, with a torch and it smokes in the glass and then you pull it off. It's amazing. It's like drinking a campfire. Wow. It's, it's in like a good way. In a really good way. <laughs> Says the guy that has the Tony Clifton in the car. <laughs> So uh, this is a song you wouldn't you wouldn't know it by the title of it, but this is actually a love song that we're gonna do next for you guys. <laughs> the softer side. It's called "Girl, You're Gonna Be the Death of Me." <laughs> Alright, you're gonna be the death of me, and that's 
so right Cause when the light shines out on me You're the only one that I will see And you'll be standing close to me And you will be the very last face I see Keep with me All of eternity Love, I do have an update. Last week we had Star Coast on and we did, there was an auction going on through their website and uh, it's for the COVID relief fund through Culture Works. And I just got an update that they raised over $350. It was like roughly $360 for the, for the relief fund. So thank you so, so much for that. Uh, visit uh, Richmond Culture Works for more information if you are an artist in need or if you want to donate or keep the love going. It's a love fest. <laughs> Tonight's a steely love fest. <laughs> A loving steely fest? A ste <laughs> Do you have any, you know, there are a lot of musicians we know sort of like keeping keeping your body in tune to your instrument. Do you have to do anything in particular or special when you're working that part, your shoulder and like getting into it like that? Threading the needle is really the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my gosh. He's got his extra bobbins down below, so he's good. <laughs> uh huh. So maybe that's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just an interesting posture. It's not a typical posture. I mean, I guess it's similar well, to I a. Walk around like this. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about muscle memory. That's, right. that's how you get good at it. That's, right. that's dedication, folks. You might learn something, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's really not anything that I've really been doing to my body. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, thanks for calling me out on that. <laughs> <laughs> We're all friends here, right? Yeah. I've met you once. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Twice, yeah. Oh, the lost episode. Nobody would know because right. this room sounds great. It's, it's in the ether somewhere. We'll find it. We've got... a. Uh, we got three more songs for you, and um, this is a song we haven't recorded yet, but hope to do uh, sometime soon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this counts. Uh, this is called Knife. Thin woman with a paper thin heart, and I was a careless kid who tore it apart. And I was only concerned selfishly with myself, not the wreckage around me. The 
But your words cut like a knife They also saved my life And hard truth is hard to dodge When you're the king of sabotage And now every 5th of May I celebrate my rebirth day And out of the darkness you were light September sunny and cool like a breeze And I moved in like an unwanted winter freeze And I was only concerned selfishly With myself and not the weather around me Your words cut like a knife They also save my life And hard truth is hard to dodge When you're the king of sabotage And now every 5th of May I celebrate my rebirth day Out of the darkness you were alive Oh, honey, you brought me back to more people want to say hello little miss may says daddy you sound great playing the drums and ben says go stephen lecky go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, patrick crump uh says sounding really really good patrick has a venue up in arlington called renegade that he has musicians play at so you might want to make that connection wink wink uh yeah yeah filling up <laughs> cool. Got a lot of ways of making my heart sting and Lately I've been taking stock in everything And I know I won't leave my mark for eternity But I just hope I feel the hearts of those close to me To all my friends who mean so much all the ones who fell out of touch My brothers 
losing my family Ex-lovers turned enemies Well, call on me Now come running Well, call on me Now come running well, How did Got a lot of ways of making my head spin and Lately I've been thinking about you again well, I know we've been floating in a different atmosphere and I hope you found someone new to catch your tears To all my friends that mean so much all the ones that fell out of touch My brothers and my family It's lovers turned into me Well, call on me And I come running Well, call on me And I come running That's beautiful. I know you only have one left. Um, will you introduce the rest of the band yeah, for absolutely. us? Absolutely. So, yeah. this is Corey Wells over here on lead guitar, Zach Hudgens on bass, <laughs> Stephen Keister on the sewing machine, mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephen Leckie on the drums. <laughs> These guys play in a bunch of other great bands Chris Jacobs Band, Jackass Flats, Dogwood Tales. Villages. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris Leggett chimed in and said hi. Kay Landry uh, chimed in and said hello. Hi, Lecky. Um, David Hamilton, Keister fans in Raleigh. David and Betsy. Right, David and, and Betsy Davis. Yep. And Paul Martin, former volunteer with the Richmond Folk yeah. Festival, says hello to Stephen and all the villages. You got some fans. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for having us. Oh, thank you. And, Our uh, pleasure. Thank you, Carlos and Dave Parrish and Matt and the whole the whole crew here. It means a lot to us. Thank you for bringing people to clap with me. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> thank you all for coming. Uh, we're going to end this one tonight uh, with a song called "Everything Is Fine."
So yes, when you go to tell everybody specifically where to find you, since <laughs> since there might be another. We are on uh, Spotify and iTunes and Apple Music and all that stuff, but there turns out are a lot of bands called Villages. So look for the good-looking guys. Yes. Yes. Around a campfire. Around a campfire. Yes, yeah. we talked about it. They like the smokiness. <laughs> that is true. Thank you so much for being here and entertaining us. That was incredible. Course, Just you. a real treat. Thank you to the art of Cameron Sullivan and Cameron Sullivan for letting us show your art. Of course, thank you to everybody behind the scenes for making the magic happen. Andrea, Carlos, Paul, Matthew, Eric, Billy, Charlie, Dave, and of course, Thank you to you for watching the audience at home. Please be sure to stuff the virtual tip jar, share the link, tune in every Tuesday at 7.30. And of course, the videos are available on Facebook and YouTube tomorrow uh, so that you can share the link or watch it again, put it on the background, do things around the house, listen to it. It's amazing. Next week, we have Matthew Mozingo. Um, and also keep tuning into This Room Sounds Great. We will find the lost episode somewhere. It will, we, will unearth, we will unearth it, we swear. Uh, so please keep tuning in, and thank you so much for your support. That's a wrap.